Yeah, it is. Why would you record me? Because I told you I was starting it. Uh, Psych. Happy Valentine's Day from Standard Living at Big Cedar Farm. You hear Chris over there. Uh, it's, it's been bit pretty busy already. It's been pretty busy already around here. Uh, just taking care of stuff. Uh, he does have the windows done for the chicken house. Right now, he's going to start. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Right now, he's going to start working on building um, some shelves for the greenhouse. I have several plants already started in there. Things are just sitting on the floor. It's a mess. It is mid-February now. So for Georgia, it's time to really start planting all the seeds and getting everything ready. And I just, I can't go any farther until I have things more organized because it's a mess. So um, he's going to turn his attention and get some shelves built and I'll help him. And that's what we're going to do right now. Yeah, baby. <laughs> When you see the final shelf put together and installed in the greenhouse towards the end of the video, let me know if you would change anything or design it differently or maybe the shelves, the different sizes. Just any tips and tricks or if you've built shelves before and you know of a design that works much better, just let me know. Cut this, this off here. Yeah, cut yeah. this off and so you have a big bottom shelf, no shelf, and all the top shelf. This I was yeah. gonna measure the bottom and on this first. I hear a hawk. I do too. And I'll do the bottom the same. Pocket dig that thing or something. All right, just gonna try to mimic. Do we need to draw up blueprints for this so we know how to do it? You can do it after. Yeah, probably. I don't know. You tell me. Should I list blueprints of these things online? Or are they too ghetto for common use? No, they're perfect for common, normal use. Normal people. Normal folks? Yes, normal. I think we're going to go eight foot wide on these. What do you think? That's That sounds good. Maybe not. Maybe let's go six, six foot. Six foot, yeah. Six foot seems like it might sag a little bit once yeah, it gets wet. Yeah, let's do six. I don't want it to start. Yeah, no, me neither. Sagging. I think we'll come 24 inches off the ground for the bottom shelf just to be off the ground. And then you can still put stuff under it. Uh-huh. Does that sound? Like, what am I going to put under it? I don't know. I don't want plants, plants sitting on the ground. I mean, you might want to do a... I would rather have a lower... A low shelf. Shelf. Okay, so... So it's maybe close to the ground, but not sitting on the ground. Better drainage and, you know, stuff. So we're right under five foot high. 
57 inches. So we can go, because I want a shelf up high, a small shelf up high to put gallon mm -hmm. plants, whatnot. No, we do one really low and then you put one or two more shelves. And I think, in the yeah, middle. the bottom one we should go how high? What do you think? I'm, 10 inches? What? 10 inches will be right here. Yeah, I was thinking more like five even. Or six. Six inches. Let's do is fine. six inches above. Six inches is what I'm used to. Yeah, right? That's what yeah. she said. We'll do six inches. We'll do 30 inches. Yeah, we'll do six inches, 30 inches, and 56 inches. All right. Workbench made. Kind of. Work. All right. So this will be inside. It's got that new red dirt look here. to it. Let's go out here in the mud. It rained. You're going to break another measuring tape. Because you know why? Why? Because I screwed up and went above the six inch line. Below it. They like the warmer weather. Noise. All right. And there are things you can buy at the store. They call them saw We have some somewhere. We probably even have some, yeah. So it doesn't have to be a pain in the butt all the time. Saw horses. I'll drive the truck up, but you know. Welcome back to this old chicken house. <laughs> Remember that show, this old house? Yeah, I knew what you were referring to. Welcome back to this old chicken house. It ain't recording, is it? Yeah, it is. Why would you record me? Because I told you I was starting it. Psych. Uh, Shut the greenhouse up and then I'll bring coffee. All right. Okay. We're going to go ahead and screw these boards together like this here. Check that out. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, I guess we just need to use the... Time together. Um, stuff on it. Just, you know, use the wire water. mesh on it? Yeah. The slats would be nice. It'd be pretty with the slats. I but think the wire mesh is definitely going to pass more yeah, light through it. It's more efficient. The wire mesh is more efficient. Yeah. Dookie, where were you at? It was over here.
Let's go. Technically is, yes, because I mean, it won't be. They're like, where's my house? Why isn't it finished? <laughs> so here's what we got with the shelf. I was going to put wood slats across it, but the galvanized mesh seemed like a more economical thing, I guess you'd say. It'll help water drain a little better and probably last longer. We probably need to pressure wash it off, but it's going in the greenhouse. That'll work. Gonna load it up with plants now. Well, now that we have at least one shelf in here, more to come, I can get these plants that are currently in here off the ground to make room so I can start getting more seeds planted. Um, when I first planted most of these, I couldn't find my labels, my so I wrote on paper with scotch tape, and now you can barely read it from the water. I knew that was going to happen, but you know, you just make do and do what you can. So now I got to go through and relabel it. So I know what things are as they start popping up here. Um, so let's get to work. one shelf done several more to come uh we'll see how long that takes we have so many things going on right now i have some wire racks i may just pull a couple of those in here temporarily um i got everything labeled <laughs> a couple of problems i found one i had temporary labels and because i couldn't find our label or i still can't find it but i didn't even have a magic marker i had written with pen on paper and then taped it with scotch tape to the trays. I knew it wasn't a good idea, but it's what I could do right then when I start started these seeds. Um, I have four containers down here. I have no idea what they are. So it's a surprise. Um, Bonus plants. I know one's an herb. I just don't know what herb. I think it might be chives, but I, I don't know. But we'll, we'll find out eventually. It's just, it's a surprise. Um, other than that, I have these smaller cell trays to use i'm going to mainly use them probably on um just fresh cut flowers but i do have cabbage uh cauliflower and brussels sprouts in them and what i found was on these small cell trays 
these tips right here go right through the little squares of the mesh. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I can always put a pan or something down below it or just use like this table or something for just those. So not a deal breaker. We won't be using those much except for fresh cut flowers and, um, you know, just a few things. <laughs> well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and come back for more. Thank you. Have a good day.